Ooh. Have you ever had a project on your desk which made you think that coffee is not enough and that made you wish for something else and you thought, I think it's better when I have a drink before I start this project? <laughs> Please don't report this video to YouTube. This is just some symbolic water. Just some water. <laughs> but I wish this was alcohol. But it's water. Please believe me. <laughs> Because today I want to do something which scares me so, so much. But for today's prompt, <clears throat> me and my crush... I have to do what I want to do for several different reasons. Welcome, it's Luisa Heinzel with little Effie here. <laughs> And we have the last official prompt of Defemoremba 2023 today. We are going to have another video on December 31st, but this is the last prompt, yeah, the last prompt, the last official prompt from the list. So... That is one one reason for wishing this was alcohol. But the second reason is that the prompt is me and my crush. And I thought about who is my crush. And while I was sitting here and discussing with Effie, which names and especially which secrets I could tell you, I could hear you cry, uh, not cry, sorry, <laughs> hopefully you are not crying. I'm so sorry, I've mixed the words. Um, I could hear you screaming <laughs> some names. I mean, there are more obvious names you could scream. Who could be my crush? Perhaps some other people who know me a little bit more like, you know, private <laughs> could scream some other names. But I thought I want to surprise you a little bit and I need to do something. So my crush for today is not Effie. The name doesn't start with T. <laughs> I, I was very sure that the most of you expected that I would choose Tim <laughs> as my crush. But my crush... For today and for this prompt is Barbara. <laughs> so I thought I want to make a surprise for Barbara. And she has absolutely no idea that I will do this here today. And this is a video where I expect perhaps some <laughs> trouble with her. Because I haven't talked about this video with her. I do this without her permission. And I'm hoping that she is going to be happy in the end. But at the same time, I will not create an ephemera today. Because, you know, normally um, you would expect that I create an ephemera as I did for all of the other prompts. But I need this video and this date <laughs> to make my surprise for Barbara. Otherwise... That could be, you know, obvious and she could um, realize that I made something for her before it gets to her. So I can't choose another date here in the calendar. I have to use this video because that is then the most possible secret thing, if that makes sense. And what I want to do is, or to be honest, I've actually already done it but that is a little bit confusing because of my German and my English video so let me try to explain that I had two of these journals here because I made one journal for the English videos and one nearly the same journal for my German videos so in the end I had two of the same things made with this binder and also what's inside here is nearly the same from the German videos and from the English videos that you have watched. So I had two journals. And then I thought, why don't I take one of those journals, solve a problem that I have with this journal, and at the same time make a gift for Barbara. So the problem with this journal is that, 
yeah <laughs> that is really to be honest this is the hardest thing i could ever do probably because look this is so so bulky and it's just terrible when i look at it you know so and i'm i'm really i, I really am not able to to say anything because it's so embarrassing for me because we have suggested that you could buy such a binder and we have also linked exactly this binder which Barbara and myself have used during the Femoramba. We have linked that on Amazon for you and so many of you have bought exactly this binder. And perhaps you have already noticed the problem that I have noticed with this binder and perhaps you have the same problem with bulk here. I have the feeling that this binder has a construction problem yeah, from the factory where it was built because when I look at this and I look at the size of the rings, I can see that all of my pages are pressed down here because the rings are so small that everything here comes up um, way more than if this was bigger. And if I look at the spine here, I can see this is probably too small for my bulky pages. Yes, but let me take the pages out and let me show you something. And with this video, of course, I also want to give you a solution if you have the same problem with your binder as I have here. Barbara has not such a big problem, I think, because she has made a soft cover for her binder. I will link her video down below for you, so that could be another solution for this problem. But ooh, this has to go here for a moment. But what I wanted to show you is, if I would put my pages in here, yes, this is a little bit bigger um, sorry, a little bit thicker here on the bottom than here because here are more things. But if I now close this and have the pages in it and I hold it and I don't press much, yeah, but can you see the difference? It's too much in here, still too much, yes. But it's not so extreme like when the pages are in this ring thingy. And I guess that... Um, with the production of this binder something went wrong because these rings are way too small for the proportion of the spine and this whole thing i have compared that with other binders and i found out that with this size yeah for dean a5 paper the most rings in other binders are bigger with the same measurements of the spine and the rest of the cover that is a little bit weird and on the first hand i want to apologize that this is such a catastrophe and i'm really hoping that you made thinner pages and don't have such a problem but if you have such a problem then i want to present you two solutions today and with barbara's solution of making a soft cover you would have a third solution to solve this problem and I'm really really sorry I couldn't see that coming and that is something that is really hard for me to say because also not only because of you and the problems that you might have I mean that is priority number one yeah but also Barbara said that she's waiting for the day where I will do what I will do today and that is cutting my journal apart and make something new and <laughs> I have no problem with saying that I made a mistake or something but if someone is joking about me yeah do you know what I mean she said Louisa I'm waiting for the day when you will cut your journal ap apart and I said Barbara that will never happen I will not do that why to be honest, I haven't been in the mood of cutting this apart. I'm always a problem solver. Is that a word? <laughs> I have no, no issues with solving problems. But to be honest, 
Steve Famaramba and preparing all of those videos is really hard and it's a lot of work and I was like I, I don't want to do that I just don't want to do that and I said to her I will not do that and now today I'm sitting here and cutting this apart and that feels weird that feels really weird but I have decided to do this instead of just saying oh my journal is bulky here's my problem and I have no solution I just wanted to give you a solution if you have the same problem and that is the main thing the main point of this video so I have cut this apart this was not so hard because I've already done it for my German video <laughs> so let's let's uh, drink a little bit of this water anyway Perhaps that's good for the blood circulation in my brain so that I don't make any mistakes. <laughs> so let's take first this back and let's just make this a little straight. I'm using a sanding disc here just to smoothen these edges a little bit so that this looks the same like here. then let's sand this as well and by the way in this video in the end of the video I will also talk about the Defemoramba giveaway so if you are not interested in what I'm doing here perhaps you are interested in the giveaway and perhaps you want to skip to the end of the video this looks good and what I have done here now is exactly the same thing I have already done in the German video because in this case I mean I, I had to decide how I want to do that uh, I have only two journals I mean <laughs> I am lucky that I don't have four journals otherwise I would have to do this four times do you know what I mean so um, but what I'm trying to say is my gift for Barbara so her journal is already laying there on my shelf um, but as I said, I want to give you two different options how you could solve this problem. But I want to go through this step by step with you. Also for what I have done for Barbara's journal, even if that is a little bit different, so that you can follow those steps. So what I have done here, cutting this apart and sanding the edges, is exactly the same thing I already have done for Barbara's journal as well as preparation. This thing here, I will not throw away because this I can use uh, to make another journal which has not so many bulky pages. I can still use this. For example, I could um, follow Barbara's tutorial on how to make the soft cover journal with such a binder. I will link her video down below for you. So if you want to do something like this here and you are left with this, then you could follow her tutorial to make a second journal with a soft cover out of this piece. So don't throw that away. I mean, we've paid for this. So uh, then mm, the next thing I have done for Barbara's journal is the following thing. I have taken all of my pages I had in the journal and then I have taken additional pages and put them through the journal here, alternating with the other pages. Meaning, this is the first page. Here I have put another new paper in between. Then I have this new paper in between, this new paper in between and so on. In the same size like my pages are here. And then I have connected two pages with each other with some canvas and I will show you Barbara's journal here with some canvas so that one signature is always two papers connected with this strip of canvas so that means in here there are nine signatures and each signature is made out of two DNA 5 papers connected with the canvas. And then I have mm, made the spine, but, sorry, but without this lace. 
and what you can see underneath here is just some canvas where I printed Barbara's Defamoremba backgrounds on and I have put that around here and then I have sewn with my sewing machine through each of these signatures here in the middle to connect them to the cover and these strips here are also from Barbara's uh, paper this is also printed to canvas so that I then had the possibility to sew through here with my sewing machine so that means in here there are nine signatures now and each signature has only one page I have decided that because I didn't want to have this too bulky so that I only have two layers of canvas where I had to sew through because one layer is here in the middle this strip of canvas and the other layer of course is around here on the other side so when I sew through here I had to sew through this canvas layer this and also through the cover so when I had sewn everything in in the end I could see the sewing here on the spine First, I thought I wanted to have that exactly like it was, but then I had a problem because this was wonky and I've decided that I want to put this lace over here. So I have just decided to make this a little bit more beautiful. I thought Barbara could like this so that this is now her journal. And in here there are also, let's start from the back, also some additional pages now, of course, because I've alternated my finished pages that I've made for the prompts with some papers from my stash so that she now has some room if she wants to create something additionally in here or if she wants to make some notes. As you can see this is a little bit wonky <laughs> especially this I really <laughs> I'm sorry I really don't know what happened to the, to this page but uh, can we please agree that this is art i have no idea what happened but i also have to admit that i have never done this thing with the sewing machine normally i would sew in the signatures just with for example a six hole um a binding method how is that said um six hole pamphlet stitch is is that a word i think so but just with needle and thread and with my hands instead of using my sewing machine, yeah? So this was the first time I thought I can try this here, but that's also the reason why this is a little bit wonky, but I'm hoping that she will like this. So this will go to Barbara. And this is also the first solution you could do as well if you have the same problem with your binder. For my journal, which I want to keep for myself, I'm talking uh, about this here, I want to do that a little different because I don't want to leave so much space. I don't want to have so many additional pages in my journal because I know that I will not do so much in the journal. So um, let me quickly show you this again uh, so that you have an imagination how I... Yeah, like measured that. I didn't really measure, but I have this, you know, little trick. Uh, let's let's call it a trick. If you have your journal here like so, and you press it here, and this is then um, approximately, I mean, this distance here is approximately half or less of this here then you can know that you have enough space in your journal to do something. And if you look at this, you can see here's a lot of space where Barbara can also add some more bulky things if she want, wants. Um, and I wanted to have this room for her to be creative in this journal. But I know that I want to... That sounds a little rude, but I want to finish the Femoremba for myself and for my emotions so I don't need so much space in here so I will add a few pages but not so much and I want to use another binding method to bind this together again and this shall be way easier than what I have done for the other journal oh. <laughs> 
I'm really happy that I made this pillow for my head. And originally I had planned to use this to put my head on and get some new ideas and really good ideas. That was the plan. But I haven't expected that I would need this pillow <laughs> for, <laughs> for getting rest from a struggle I have never expected. As Effie told you a second ago, it's a few hours later. To be honest, it's already the next day. But he doesn't have such a good feeling about, you know, day and night and the dates here in Austria. It's, it's for him, it's a little bit, you know, confusing. What has happened? I thought I can come up with a really, really easy solution for my defamoramber trainer. So what I did was <laughs> I have punched holes into the cover exactly in the position where the holes are in the pages as well. And then I thought I can just add three or four of these giant bookbinders rings to make yeah a ring bound journal. I mean, it was a ring bound journal before when I had the binder as well but i thought with these bigger rings and you can see they are really really giant it would work but it doesn't work <sighs> when i have one ring in here this is okay it feels like you know proportional it's not an alligator mouth everything is fine but as soon as i put more rings into these holes the journal gets like this again and it looks even more extreme with this opening here than it has been in the original binder. I had some chocolate in between because I was really freaking out. <laughs> and then I thought, originally I thought, I will just take this one ring here and have this like a hanging thing in my craft room. And I had the video already finished and I thought, okay, this is what I have. I don't have like a normal journal for Defamoramba. I thought that is okay for me. But then I had some sleep. And when I came uh, back to my craft room this morning, I thought, no, 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 no. I thought I am Luisa Heinzel and I can't give you this as a solution. I mean, <laughs> it would be a solution. Yeah, no question. <laughs> but look, you could, I mean, the good thing about this solution would be that you can flip through this really easily if you have only this one ring here it is really really comfortable somehow you could also say this has the advantage that you could um, take photos of your pages way easier than in a normal journal because this now lays flat yeah it's it's just cool to have it like this and I also thought if you want to write something in here on empty pages or you want to add empty pages, it's so easy and it's just nice. But it's not a journal. It, it, it's just not a journal. And in my other video footage, I also made this here in a second page like this from the rest of Barbara's scraps because I thought I need to do something which is really easy and that calms me down i was like really i was freaking out <laughs> so i made this page and another one is following here in a second but i can't live with this i want to have a defamoran but journal I, I want to have a journal and not something like this so i thought i mean this is a solution anyway yeah this could be the let's say i would say this is the fastest solution you could find but <laughs> is it the nicest solution probably not probably not so i thought i want to do something different um and then i have analyzed the problems i had with barbara's journal which i made in the german video and i came to the following um how is that said in english conclusion i think <clears throat> because when i made barbara's journal I, as I told you, had attached two pages with each other with her Defamoramba backgrounds printed to canvas. 
and then I had to sew through each of the signatures here with my sewing machine. That means I had to sew nine times because we have nine signatures in here. And I thought perhaps there's an easier solution, but with the same method or nearly the same method of attaching the pages to each other. So yeah, I want to try something that is hopefully easier and that hopefully, hopefully will work. I have no idea what's going to happen now, but this is Ember, so we have to do this. So my idea is, so this is going to be the cover page, of course, let's put that away. I have cut some additional papers because I have told you that I don't wanna have too many things, too many pages, Additionally, in my journal, I don't need them because I don't want to do so much more in this journal than I have done during the Ember. So I thought, let's look where we can add those additional pages and let's only add them there where they are necessary. Meaning, if I have this and I put it together like this and I do this. Can there happen anything if these two pages are next to each other? No, because these birds have nothing where they can, you know, uh, get stuck or something. There will come an example in a second where you hopefully see what I mean. So I will leave these together. The same thing here when I flip this, nothing can happen here with this because here is nothing yet. If I add something here, I have to pay attention that, for example, this little charm can't get stuck here, but here's no problem as well. Then here, it looks different because, look, if I, ooh, if I take these pages and put them together and try to do this, it feels weird. It gets stuck a little bit because these elements are relatively thick and I don't want to destroy uh, my pages here with flipping them and having these things getting stuck on the other page. That means this page needs something that goes here so that this is like a protection for this page. Then this page has no problem anymore because we have the braille paper here, nothing can happen. So let's see here, there's also no problem, I guess. Yeah, but I'm just thinking I don't like these um, pages next to each other so let's perhaps add one in here which fits better yeah I think this is way more harmonious then we have this page which could go with this smaller one here I think that looks nice together this here um, wouldn't be a problem for this page with getting stuck or something, but hmm, I don't like this next to each other. Let's see what, what else do we have here. We can, of course, um, change the order of the pages because look, this, ooh, I can't see anything, I'm sorry. This fits way better to this, I think. So if this is the first page of the next two, I like this together, but the earrings here and this is not so good perhaps so let's see what else do we have we could do it like this then the envelope would be the protection for the earrings let's then perhaps oh yes i like this together let's then perhaps take this and 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 these colors would work together and I think that would be no problem to do it like this and then we can just add one of these. That's a more neutral one, like so. And then, can, then this can be the last page like this. So I have counted these pages and we have a total of seven double pages here now and I thought we can try to make two signatures into this journal 
Uh, I don't know if that we really can work, but <laughs> let's try it. So that would mean we have to separate this into two. Uh, that means three and four double pages per signature. One, two, three. Then this is four and it feels like approximately the same thickness. Mm, that means I have three layers of connection material here and four layers of connection material here. And with connection material, I mean the material that I need to connect two pages here. And I think my sewing machine should be able to do that. So I will put these away and take like this first signature because now I have to pay attention which of those pages I have to connect. Because when this page is next to this one, that doesn't mean that I have to connect these with each other. Because, you know, when I flip this, then, and the other pages uh, I want to flip as well, of course, then this page is the one I have to connect with this page. So that this can be like so, and then this and this has to be connected with each other and these so that I then later on have my connection material here and I can sew through here through all of those pages at the same time. That's exactly the same like you would um, put together like a normal signature with normal paper which you fold it in half. Does that make sense? I'm really hoping that that makes sense. If not, take a piece of chocolate. <gasps> So, <laughs> I want to take some double-sided tape, put that to the very edge of each page. And the reason why I'm trying this, <clears throat> there are actually two different reasons. The first one is, or perhaps even more, <laughs> the first one is I want to keep this easier than with Barbara's channel. And the reason for doing that is I want to see the difference between both of these methods so that I can learn something for myself and that I have an easier job to decide what I need to do to make such uh, to, to um, solve such a problem when I have that the next time because I'm sure this is not the only problem like this I will have in my junk journal life so I'm going to take both of these so that it's easier and uh, put these out of the way for a moment so that I have an easier job to, to do this. Um, and the second reason is I want to avoid that I have to sew nine times. No, in this case it's not nine. In Barbara's um, journal it was nine, here it would be seven. I don't want to sew seven times through the spine of my journal because I know that I can't manage that so well and that it will get wonky in the end. So I want to use this knowledge that it will get wonky to make something wonky. Look, <laughs> I will explain that now. Um, my brain is relatively confused at the moment and what's going on in my brain is probably totally weird. But what I know is that Barbara is my crush <laughs> and because of that I have taken her Defamoramba backgrounds or actually two of them and I've printed them to canvas because I want to use this material again. I've used that in her journal as well to connect the pages to do something similar here. So I'm going to, yeah, how, how can I do that? Effie, you have to go. I can't, I can't, I can't live with seeing you <laughs> because I want to leave a little bit more space in between of the pages than I did it for the other journal. But how to decide how much space I can leave there to have a distance here, still a distance to the cover. I mean... <sighs> 
this is a lot of space, isn't it? And if I compare it to this, here's still about, I think, two centimeters. So I think I can leave this much space without getting problems or even a little more. I need this space in the middle for, I mean, if this was the middle, yeah, that should work. I need this space in the middle for getting the pages wonky because I want to have them wonky on purpose. So I'm going to leave this much space and then I'm going to take this and eyeball how wide this can be approximately like this that I'm just going to to tear this that was not so clever Louisa take it first off from here to be able to cover the holes in this page so let's try to move that another oh collage element here why is this so thick here what's on the other side oh it's only the charm okay that's no problem just like this so that we now can take this this has to go together like this let's turn it around to be able to find the right distance here and then can just glue this down here. Okay, so I'm back from my sewing machine with this page here and I've just decided that two uh, rows of sewing, or how do you say that, are totally enough to hold this together. I think there's absolutely no reason to sew more than twice here. Where shall this go? I have put this to my sewing machine like so, so that I could see this edge here and this edge here so that this can't fall apart anymore. I mean, where shall it go? And here on the other side, it's the same. Even if this lifts up a little bit later because he has no tape, it can't go anywhere and it can't hinder the next page to flip. And because of that, I think this is totally enough for what I want to do here. So then we have mm, this page and we have this page. Both of these have to be connected with each other now as well. And they will then go around this page later. So I will do exactly the same thing. I will put some double-sided tape here, tear a strip of the canva canvas with Barbara's backgrounds printed on and connect that in exactly the same way and then I will go to my sewing machine and sew that together and I will do that for all of the other pages as well. <laughs> I'm just thinking it's boring for you to watch me doing this <laughs> and to be honest I want to know if this works. What do you do when you have such a situation where you think, can this work? Will it work? And then you are perhaps a little bit impatient. What do you do when you have such a situation? I like to hear some music in such a situation. And I'm just realizing that I could tell you which music I will choose in a second. Because um, I found someone and I really like his music. So I thought perhaps you want to know <laughs> what I'm listen listening to while I'm doing this here. It's And I also thought it could be interesting for you because it's German music. And I know that some of you are always interested in German things. <laughs> Sorry, I can't speak. I have to line this up. Oh, no, no, it's wonky. Uh, did I say that I want to have this wonky? I think I, I said that. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the channel of a singer and songwriter. I really like to 
listen to. I can't um, play his music in my video, otherwise uh, YouTube would make some trouble, but I show you his channel. His name is Sascha. He's a German singer and songwriter and he also lives in Germany. So perhaps you want to try this music <laughs> and perhaps you want to listen to it. So you can just search for Sascha Dem. I will also link his channel down below for you. And why am I showing you this? That has a really easy reason because I like things that are honest, no matter if it's music or crafting or something like that. I mean, why am I doing this here? Instead of just saying, take this one ring and you have your solution. I do this because I want to have my channel really authentic and I want to show you my reality and my truth here with junk journaling and I would say he is one of those singers who is doing exactly the same but with music. His music is really really authentic and he tells really nice stories in his songs so if you can understand German then this is probably something that you will like because yeah junk journaling is storytelling as well isn't it and he's doing such a thing as well so perhaps you want to um, hear this and you perhaps you want to listen to this I will link his channel and all of his social media down below and perhaps I thought I mean <laughs> I thought perhaps we can turn this number here 864 subscribers into a little bit more than thousand <laughs> You can hear I really like him and I really want to support him and that's why I'm talking about this. If you like what you hear on his channel then please give him a thumbs up for the videos and if you want then please subscribe to his channel. I'm really really sure that he will be really happy about that and he will really appreciate that. Um, so just that you know that I know him a little bit in person we haven't seen in real life yet but um, we have had a conversation or several conversations where's my second page now ah, yes it's this one um, on Instagram and because of that I can I, I know that he is a really really honest person and that he will appreciate if you subscribe to his channel when I watch a YouTube channel of someone else yeah and I um, get to know the person who is behind the channel a little bit better then I really appreciate some private information as well not because I'm a stalker <laughs> but because I like to know who the person is, if that makes sense. And I think music or reading books has a lot to do with who is the person behind the channel. And I, I also think, and that's also why I'm talking about that during Defamoremba and now, um, I think Defamoremba is exactly such a time because um, when we create our Defamoremba ephemera, uh, there are often personal things going into the projects. I mean, look at this project. I'm talking about my crush Barbara here. And I mean, that's an obvious thing. <laughs> it would be, it, that's an obvious thing that I love Barbara, isn't it? But um, there are perhaps other things that you want to know about us and um, that you, yeah, we talk about that and then you know it. <laughs> and, Music is one of those things. So perhaps you want to listen to that while I am sewing these pages together and I will do that with the other signature as well, of course. Okay, so here we go. I have two signatures here. Uh, I'm medium happy about this because look, this with only three pages, three double pages, looks really harmonious. It's not too thin thick and not too it's proportional but this here you can see it's you know it, it, this is not so regular this is way more 
unproportional that's also of course because we have four pages in here and only three in here so i'm thinking when i look at this with the cover around if we perhaps should make three signatures instead of two because when i have this here i can see this really really big space in between and this would of course be necessary to have this whole journal in the end proportional as well so if you hold it like this and that's the same with any other journal of course as well not only with such a catastrophe like i have here um this what you have here would be the distance you need in between of the signatures and i don't know if i like that i mean i know that i don't like it <laughs> to be honest so i thought about making three signatures instead of only two so when we have this we of course need to know how wide the spine has to be yeah and i think i have to do it do it exactly the same like with barbara's journal which has a spine width um of nine centimeters and i think we're going to do this exactly the same so i want to take this little fail print this is canvas as well this is also from Barbara's backgrounds, but as you can see, my printer has made some strange things here. I had the wrong settings when I printed this, but since I want to put a piece of this lace over the canvas later, this doesn't bother me because I won't see it in the end. Nine centimeters is our spine, but we need a little bit to go over here and also in the inside so that we can on the one hand cover those holes that i accidentally made before and on the other hand uh, i have to yeah i have to glue it here somewhere so i want to have one and a half centimeters of the material going on the cover here meaning nine plus three because one and a half here and one and a half on the back would be then 12 centimeters oh that's nice <laughs> 12 centimeters is exactly here where this line from the fail printing was and i need a second piece which is also 12 centimeters for the inside so i'm going to cut this here as well i first want to sew along here and here and also here and here because these edges will be shown later hopefully <laughs> so then i'm going to make a little mark mm. here one and a half centimeters from the edge to here and also on the other side And I'm going to do that here on the bottom as well so that I have an orientation what I'm doing here and I will also do that on the inside because in a second I want to glue these pieces together but I have to leave this oh, I think that can't work can that work it has to work <coughs> it has to work mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because now mm, I want to glue these pieces together so that I'm able to sew my signatures in here but I want to sew through both layers of the canvas I have to leave this space of one and a half centimeters because this part and also on the other side has to go to the cover later i can't glue this completely if we want to have like 
a regular distance in between them, we have to put the first one to the middle, or the second one to the middle, actually, here. I'm uh, using this grid here to have an orientation. And then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would mean three and a half, and so three and a half. So that means here. So I'm just I'm just um, spreading this equally. Yeah. So then these outer marks here are. Um, our orientation where the cover has to be and then this is the first signature second signature third signature and in the beginning I said I want to have this whole thing a little bit wonky and that's also why I left so much space in between of the pages here you can see it better meaning I will not try to sew through the center of this canvas piece here but I'm trying to line these pages up wonkily below my sewing machine like this and then or approximately yeah, perhaps not probably not so much but I'm trying to um, to see here and here on the top and on the bottom how much I can shift this and when I have that, I'm going to take it and I'm going to line it up here where my first mark is and also on the bottom. And then I'm going to sew through here like so, but then the pages are automatically wonky. And I'm going to do that with all of the signatures now. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay, so here we go. Hey. <laughs> so all of the pages are in here now. As you can see, wonky, but on purpose. Perhaps you might ask, why has she done this like so wonky? Because she had the chance to get that really straight. I did that because I know from the other journal that I wasn't able to do it straight and that it's really hard to get it straight. And I think if you have something that is wonky on purpose, that's better than trying to get something, something straight without success <laughs> yeah do you know what i mean so um i think this looks really regular now <laughs> this looks nice and probably the hardest thing is now to get this in here because we have to glue this thing in here now like so and then this like so so that it looks nice from both sides And I want to leave this sewn line here visible. I think that looks nice. So I'm going to take some glue and start gluing the lace here. Here we go. Yay. It's done. <laughs> this is not completely dry yet. You can still see some white uh, marks here from the glue. So I will let this dry overnight. Mm, but I think it's uh, dry enough so that we can quickly open it. Because what I like about this is, I mean... This is relatively bulky, isn't it? We have talked about that before. But now, if you flip through the journal, the pages can lay completely or nearly completely flat. Here, of course, it's a little bit 
higher but the more you come to the center of the journal the more flat the pages are and i really really like that because now i have the chance to take those empty pages and do something on them some little things that i want to add here and that is really really great i'm so happy that i have done that i can't tell you how happy i am effie are you happy as well yeah i know you had a hard time with me i was screaming and a little bit crying as well <laughs> during this process i know but i'm really happy that i have done this and this is another proof that junk journaling can bring you really out of your comfort zone and beyond your boundaries hopefully that was a correct english sentence um yeah i'm i'm so happy that i have done this <sighs> oh effie you would fit to this page really well color wise <laughs> that's that's great <laughs> so that means me and my crush is finished and then effie i have a little question because the people want to know what's coming next but that has something to do with you as well but you seem to be a little bit slow at the moment because where is your second letter i haven't received your second letter yet which i will need for december 31st because there we are going to have the second prompt coming from you and i have to combine that second prompt with the door barbara has made for me and which is still in this package here and i have to unbox this on december 31st and i have to do something with the door but i need the second prompt could you please hurry up and give me this letter you haven't written it yet what come on go and do that now bye bye <laughs> write the letter now <laughs> so while effie is writing the letter let's talk about the defemoremba giveaway <laughs> perhaps the most exciting thing of the whole defemoremba so i am running a giveaway and we are going to have three lucky winners I want to give away three prizes and each of those lucky winners is going to get a pack filled with unique scraps from my craft room. I thought I want to give something away that has to do with Defemoremba and something like, you know, Defemoremba started with the scraps that Barbara and myself have exchanged. Some of them you can see on this page here and you have been so thrilled about that and about this idea and you have also found partners for extra ooh, exchanging scraps so i thought it could be a nice prize to have some scraps from my craft room so there are going to be three winners and if you want to enter this giveaway you have to do the following thing it's really easy you have to leave a comment below this video and I would like to have in this comment an honest feedback about Defemoremba. You can write what you want, but I wish for an honest feedback so that we can improve the future years of Defemoremba. And when I say this, I get in trouble with Barbara probably as well again. <laughs> Because we haven't talked about Defemoremba 2024 yet, but I guess that's going to happen. So we want to consider your suggestions, of course. And for that, we need to know what you liked and what you didn't like. And because of that, I'm wishing for a really, really honest feedback. If there are things that you didn't like at all, then please write that and include that into your comment if we don't know about those things that you didn't like we can't improve that and we can't change anything for the future that's the reason for this like honest feedback thing yeah <laughs> so um and i want to say thank you in advance for your comment because i'm relatively sure that you will make some thoughts about that and that is of course really much appreciated Please post your comments by the end of the day on January 3rd 
to join the giveaway. And the winners will then be chosen randomly using a comment picker tool and announced in a special video featuring a flip through of my finished Defamoremba journal on January 9th. So I wish you good luck and perhaps you want to check out Barbara's video as well. Little hint, perhaps she might have a giveaway for you today as well. So let's go and check her video out as well. If you don't know her yet, the channel link is down below in the description box, of course. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope we will see the next time. And when I say I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you enjoyed this even if there has been a lot of struggle in this video. And I'm hoping, really hoping that we will see the next time as well. So have a very great and creative day. Bye bye.